Welcome, child. Do you know where you are? In a dream. A lucid dream. That's what the doctor calls it. I'm asleep and I know I'm dreaming. Correct. And you are in quite the predicament. Why? Your history of lucid dreaming has recently become more and more intense. Now it has evolved into something more. If this goes wrong, you will slip into a comatose state. To overcome it, you will have to navigate the terrain of your dream, pass the five obstacles, and step through the guiding light, where you will slip back to the realm of consciousness. Otherwise, there is a strong chance you will never awaken. Please, come into the light. I want to see you. Transferred over from the inanimate plane to guide you through this realism that you'll trek through. You will endure five trials and five rooms through this dream. Rooms that you inadvertently created down to the finest detail from your memories, dreads, interests, experiences, and imagination. However, the foundation of each room is your fear. This creates a stable, perpetual landscape. Yet this room you left a blank slate. It is free for you to decide any scenery you want. Insert a setting from your memory to illuminate this flat expanse of nothingness. Is this place familiar to you? This is the field near my house. Sometimes I come here and draw. Nicely done. You plucked a vivid landscape from your subconscious memories and into a strange land of nothingness with little effort and no discernible visual feedback. But harder tasks await. Meet me in the next room. Walk straight ahead until you find the door. Yes, existential specters of everything you do not wish to hear. Once you close the door on this room, they will become silent. Until then, it's in your best interest to ignore them. 
The whispers will take you if you let them inside your head or under your skin. Sorry, Teddy. I couldn't help slowing down. I couldn't ignore them all the way. It would have been impossible to fully block out the words. You did nothing wrong. What's in there? A physical manifestation of your inner personal demons. A monster in the form of a giant spider. It will kill you physically as it would try to hurt you mentally in the conscious realm. You will have to kill it to move on. If it kills me in the dream, I'll be stuck here forever. Correct. How will I kill- Don't move. Do not make a sound. It is blind and asleep, but if it hears you, it will kill you. You must find some way to kill it. This room you left a blank slate. It is free for you to design any scenery you want. Ensure the shedding from your memory to illuminate this flat expanse of nothingness. What if I can do the same thing? You did excellently in there. You plucked that sewing needle from your subconscious with ease. Thanks for leaving me behind.
This way, child. You are almost at the end of your lucid dungeon. After this, only one room remains. To bring down the veil of fire, you will have to extinguish every degree of sorrow. For if you have the slightest trace, you will not survive the final room. It will consume you. Are you prepared for what awaits you? I am. What is this place? This is a mental prison that you inadvertently locked yourself in. A barricade against the reality of what happened that night. Despite being a dream, you the creator are unable to change the dream because you created it to be eternal. But you built an off switch. Through the trials you overcame, you gradually began to release your thoughts and emotions you locked away and began to live away from the emptiness and solitude and in the process gave yourself the tools for the ability to thrive your way through life. All that remains is your acceptance of the reality, and the guiding light will take you home, and you will awaken as you were, and never be plagued by lucid dreaming again. Sleep now, Daddy. I love you. Farewell, child. 
now go forward and breathe life again. Will you ever speak to me again? In a form or another. After all, I am only a voice in your head. You summoned me yourself. Thank you.